um, I don't know what time you guys will be watching this, but it's currently morning here in New York City and it is dumping down snow. It is like literally a snowstorm. So let's hope my power doesn't go out in the middle of this. Um, I don't think it will though, because it's not that bad. But it still has a lot of snow and being from Texas, I'm not okay with it. So anyways, I thought I'd pop up on here and do my morning skincare routine and just kind of go step by step for what I do, especially right now since my skin is not really used to being in this cold of a climate all the time and windy. So this is kind of like my winter skincare routine um, while wow, my skin is super dry. So that's what I'll be doing. Okay, so first things first, I always start with a vitamin C oil serum thing, whatever you want to call it. I use SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. Another really great option that isn't as expensive is Paula's Choice. Um, their vitamin C, which I'll also link it below, is amazing. I've used several bottles of it. Honestly, they're super similar. I just happen to have this one, so I'm using it first right now. But I always do this step first. I don't know, that's just what the internet told me to do. So I put usually like three drops in my hand and I like pat, then I pat it on my skin. The vitamin C is just like really great for red spots, any discoloration of the skin and just making your skin look an even skin tone. So I love this. But if you use this, don't use like any acids or anything like that with it because it will not be good for your skin. So I just use this in the morning and I do acids in the evening. Um, next, I kind of like add all of these steps together. I just do it at once because I'm lazy and it's quicker. So I'm gonna take my favorite Peach and Lily brand. It's their matcha pudding antioxidant cream. Really love this stuff. It's amazing. I just love this brand in general. Probably just grabbed way too much. I'm gonna like wipe that. Okay, um, that looks good. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you my step process, how I do this all at once. So put the matcha pudding on. And then I'm gonna take my glass skin serum, which is just like a hyaluronic acid. And I'm going to add that to three points on my face. And then I'm gonna take my phytocorrective gel. This is also from SkinCeuticals. It literally just calms the skin. So like I use this if I have a sunburn, or if it's like just really dry outside and my and the wind's blowing and my cheeks are red, it just helps any redness or irritation of the skin. So now I'm just gonna rub it all in together. So as you can see, I don't really have it completely rubbed in my face and that's because I'm gonna bring some down to my neck a little bit and I'm gonna start massaging it into the face this is kind of like gua sha if you've ever seen, but it's like to drain the puffiness out of your face. So I do this, and you never want to do it when your skin's dry. So I'm gonna massage the rest of it in. Now that's all rubbed into my face and I'm gonna let it set for a second. I'm gonna put some lip oil on because as you can see, my lips have been super dry and it's kind of gross. Um, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury lip oil and I love it. It's amazing. Makes your lips feel like butter. Okay, so now we're gonna put even more hydration on my face. Didn't think it could get any more. Well, it can. Um, since I did like a moisturizer, I do oil as the next step and not a ton, but I really love this pie. It's a rosehip oil and it's just supposed to be really good for your face and it helps my skin not peel in the wind and just get disgusting. So it keeps my skin looking glowy even when I'm being hit by 30 miles per hour wind. Okay, so I'm kind of gonna do what I did with the vitamin C and just pat it onto my face and maybe even my neck. Apparently this stuff is supposed to be good for anti-aging, so we'll see. Oh, I also forgot to say, if you guys don't want to use the matcha pudding, I alternate between embroilies, so doing that three-step thing, like seeing it on my face, this is a really great option, but right now I've just been using the matcha pudding because 
I think it's cool that it's green, but anyways, <laughs> and I really like it. Okay, so while the oil is kind of coming, drying into my face, soaking into my face, I don't know what the correct term is, I am gonna take this Tula 24 seven power swipe to my eyes to keep those hydrated as well during the nasty winter. Normally I would use, um, it's like Ol first skin, however you pronounce that can't pronounce it. It's their vitamin C underneath the eye. Um, but right now I really just need all the hydration I can get. And that is this, but I'll link the other one below. Okay, last but not least is sunscreen. Even though it is not sunny right now because it's winter, you should still wear sunscreen. It's very good. And I used a, um, might take like a mineral based one. What is it called? Like zinc oxide? because I don't know, I've just heard that sunscreen in general can not be that great for you. So I use the mineral based one. So I'll link this below. It's incredible. They also have a tinted one. So like if you want more evenness to your face, you have a tinted moisturizer sunscreen and it's awesome too, but I'm using this one today. Also, another little tip is to put sunscreen on your hands because your hands are like one of the first telltale signs of your real age. So if you're trying to prevent that in the future, I would put some on your hands and even on your neck as well. Um, but yeah, that is my, not really that chaotic, but skincare routine in the morning why it's winter outside. And it just like really, you can see how like glowy my skin is. And you can see where like my skin's been like irritated by the cold <laughs> um and that's where this one really comes in handy so like if anything i recommend this if you live in like a cold climate and your skin gets irritated or even warm because your skin might get burned because it has aloe vera in it so it's really good for that um but anyways i will be linking all of the products below and hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this anyways okay bye